there's a lot of rock and roll legends around, you know, and obviously Rick and Francis very much fall into that mm. category. What's it like being around them too? <laughs> what, what do we know? What, do, what don't we know about Rick and Francis? You've got to, you've got to be. When you're around, around Rick and Francis, you've got to have your wits about you all the time because there's always these little one-liners coming out, and you've got to give as much as you get because otherwise they'll rip you to pieces. And it's always a, it's a laugh as well. You have a good laugh and there's some great, when Rick's on form, he's the funniest man you can come across. He is really funny. And Francis as well, Francis is very deadpan, very, you, you, you think, you, some people don't know how to take Francis because, you know, sometimes he's, there's no emotion there, but he's saying these really funny things. And I get on, I've always, always got on great with Francis, to the point where sometimes Rick used to think, you know, um, oh, it, it, Francis likes, you like Francis better than, than you like me and all that. And it wasn't that at all, you know, we just, we just hit it off really well together, me and Francis. And I, I love Rick because he's just, he's just, Rick is Rick. You can't really uh, <laughs> say anything else. I mean, he is a one-off, the same as Francis is, you know. And they've been together all these years and they still have their differences now and again, but they're still there, they're still doing it. Now, given that, you know, pretty much all we've been talking about is all good stuff, what makes you decide it's time to leave? There was quite a few reasons why I decided. Um, one was that all those touring years, I never saw my first two kids, my, my, you know, and I get on great with them there, they're adults, but I missed a huge chunk. It affected my first marriage and I thought, well, maybe there might be a chance of saving it if I could go out, leave and, and concentrate being my, my missus a bit more. And I'd set up a business going and doing the workshops in the school, so I thought I could carry on doing that. And I felt at the time that the guys in the band thought that I wasn't 100% into what I was doing, which was true because I was concentrating on getting the business sorted out as well. So there was quite a few different things involved as far as my decision to leave the band. And I still stand by, for me, it was the right thing to do because, you know, it was that time when things weren't going well, the management was a bit weird and, you know, they've all come through that now and it, it's good again. But when I was, at that time, it wasn't great as far as everything with the band was concerned. And I love them to bits, all the guys, and I, get, I still speak to them and I get on great with them. But that time was right for me to go. And um, I think that for me it was the right decision to go to leave then. My last question is, you can imagine quite a lot of answers so far, basically, and opinions. Go on. I think when we reach a certain age, especially rock fans, we all become nostalgia buffs and we love a Beatles reunion, but of course there's two reasons why there can't be one. Mm. We'd love to see Queen again, but there's no Freddie, so that's not going to happen. Mm. But we do have a Rick and a Francis mm. and an Alan and a John. Yeah. What do you think that would mean to status quo fans, even if there's only one night only? I think... Your uh, hardcore, what I say, hardcore fans, and there's not that many left, but the hardcore fans would absolutely love it. But now there's a lot more fans that weren't from that period that, okay, they still listen to the old stuff, but they listen to the new stuff as well. And I think it would be a bit of a, it wouldn't be very nice for, for, for Rhino especially to, to, for them to say, oh, we're going to do a gig with Lancaster and Coughlin, especially after all his involvement in the band. And I, don't, I, think, I don't think it would be very nice for, for them to do it now. I don't think it would be right. And I don't think it will happen, to be honest, because there's no love lost between the two. So uh, I don't think it will happen. I can't, I can't see it. I'd be extremely, extremely surprised if that ever took place.